Welcome to Royal Roads University and the new Masters of Technology and Learning program that you are currently enrolled in. My name is Dr. Bill Muirhead. I'm the Associate Provost Academic at UOIT, but I want to take the opportunity to introduce you to the program at Royal Roads. Over the next while, for the next two years, you'll be enrolled in a program that really explores learning and technology. Uh, and we sort of purposely designed the program about learning and technology rather than the technology of learning. It may be a subtle difference to some of you at this point in time, but it really is about how do we understand and employ technology in a variety of learning environments, be it the workplace, be it in K-12 or post-secondary education, and what does that mean for designing programs. So over the next two weeks, you'll actually be in two courses, one 501, the second one 502, which would take place in a cohort residency program on campus at Royal Roads University. We're really looking uh, for those two weeks to introduce you to graduate studies because for some of you, you may not have been in uh, post-secondary education for some time, to really introduce you to research and how one conducts research, but how one understands research because research is not just the outcome of the research, but the process of conducting research. And we'll be exploring a number of perspectives and a number of ways of understanding research and its application. We also want an opportunity to introduce you to graduate studies and some of the skills that you'll need over the next two years to be successful in the program. So we'll be talking about uh, research perspectives, We'll actually have you practice some of the research skills during the two weeks. We're going to talk about and have and review some of the writing you've done before class. Uh, there'll be some writing and some presentations in class. And we'll be talking about, the, as I say, the importance of cohort education. Royal Roads is different from other online universities or other programs of its type in that we believe in a cohort approach, which means that you'll start with students at the same time and you'll go through the next two years with the same group. And in many ways, the success of you in the program will be the success of the cohort in the program, and we'll be talking about that. So I want to talk about a couple of things before you actually arrive on campus. First of all, I strongly recommend that the readings that have been assigned for the course that you complete before you arrive on campus. You're going to find that living on campus is different. You're going to be back in residence. For some of you who lived in residence at some point in the past, uh, you're going to be working uh, quite hard and there are going to be long days. So the opportunity to really read and reflect on the readings over the next uh, two weeks that you'll be on campus will be such that I think you'll find it easier to actually do that before you arrive on campus. You'll hear me say a number of times, reading for a master's degree is really reading for a master's degree and there'll be a lot of reading that you'll want to do, a lot of research that you'll want to do. And so the sooner you get started, the better. I'm also going to talk about the rigor of writing. Now, before you arrive, there are really three major pieces of work that you need to do. First, before arriving on campus, you're going to have to get used to our new learning environment, which is Moodle. Uh, and there is a course and a website that you'll actually refer to to get used to that online exchange and online environment. Secondly, before you arrive on campus, you're going to have an opportunity to get to meet others in your class through a discussion forum called Getting to Know You. That's where I'm going to post this video, which you're watching today, but also other aspects about myself because I think it's important to know that and I'm going to want to know something about you. Also, before you arrive on campus, you're going to be assigned a, uh, or placed in a group and you're going to complete an assignment collectively together about adapting to a new learning online environment, which is rather than sitting in a classroom and working in a group, how do you work collaboratively and cooperatively across the internet to complete academic assignments? And what are the challenges and opportunities that that provides you? So that will be a group assignment that will need to be done before you arrive on campus. And the third assignment that you'll actually work on will be a essay of up to a thousand words about uh, your assumptions about learning. Now we as adults have a number of assumptions about learning and we uh, as adults when looking at children have assumptions about how people learn. I think the important piece here is what are you, what do you believe about your own assumptions about 
adult learning and about how you learn. Do you learn best in a group? Do you learn best by experiencing things? Do you learn best by reading? What is your preferred learning style? Because as you'll find out in the readings, there are a number of learning styles. This essay will be completed before you arrive on campus and will be submitted through Moodle. Over the next two weeks of residency, uh, both Lisa Reed and myself will review those and provide you with some feedback because you will be resubmitting the same paper in August but with additional references and additional support and feedback from us. We recognize that for many of you, you haven't written for some time and you certainly may not have written at the graduate level. There are some references in the course to that. It's a learned skill. Learning to write is like learning to ride a bike. You may not be, you may be wobbly when you first start, but at the end of the day, you probably were all able to ride a bike. So it is tough, it is rigorous, but of course, we believe that the reason that you're in this program is we believe you'll be highly successful. Please feel free to email me during the two weeks prior to the course. We will meet each other on the Sunday night before the residency starts. And of course, I will be able to communicate with you both face to face. And once the residency ends, we'll also have an opportunity. As you review the course site, you may have some questions. We've designed the course site to provide you with all of the material you'll need. We've also provided you with a series of texts. Now, I've been told those texts are heavy, and do you need them at residence? Actually, I believe you need them at residence or you need access to them. So while we've put the books on reserve in the library, I think as you're working together and working in the evening, or you may have questions about certain aspects of research or certain details around APA, or certain assumptions about how you understand adult learning, that having the text with you, albeit that you have to put them in your bag if you're flying across the country to attend uh, uh, the residency, that it's probably a good idea. Now, a couple of things about residence. You're going to be living in residence, so again, it's living in residence, and so that's somewhat different. Uh, one of the technical things I think I need to tell you is that the residence space does not have wireless, so please bring a wired connection. The new classrooms that we'll be in and the new uh, building at railroads will have wireless access and wired access. So although you may or may not need computers in class, you certainly, for those of you who are more comfortable taking notes that way, will be fine. We'll be posting all the learning materials to the Moodle site, so you'll be able to have those either in advance of the lecture or certainly after the lecture for review. Uh, or just prior to the lecture so you can actually take notes on the material that we'll have in class. I'm really looking forward to this. In my current job at UOIT as, as a Associate Vice President for Teaching and Learning and Technology and all academic areas, I don't do a lot of teaching and so I reserve that opportunity to do that with you at Railroads in the summer. It's something that I've done for 10 years and helped design this program uh, that you're currently involved in. So again, thank you. I really hope you enjoy your time at Railroads. I know you will be successful in this program, and I really look forward to meeting you on the Sunday night at the meet and greet uh, that we'll have within the castle. So again, thank you very much.